Previously on building Benny's time quest. Let's first go and make these guys nice and dark metal. I'm just gonna try and make it skeleton. See what that looks like. Nice. And to finish it off, maybe in the middle we can put like this smoke emitter again. So you come in here and this is the first thing you see. Yes. And then it's gonna go up here. So that means that we now have the first section of this coaster done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Building Benny's Time Quest. Today we are finally gonna start making the first area and uh, it's gonna be really fun. So let's get straight into it. Like I said last time, this is going to be some sort of winter slash Christmas themed area. So for that, we're gonna need a lot of snow, a lot of ice, a lot of pine trees and stuff. But first of all, I actually wanna do something to this coaster. There's this thing where people overlay uh, roller coasters, meaning they basically put two of them on top of each other, which often gives a nice look. Now, I want to make this a wooden roller coaster because I feel like for this area that would just look very cool. So, I'm gonna try doing this overlay sort of uh, technique. I never actually tried it, so I have no idea if uh, how easy it is or whatever. But uh, let's first just start with the booster. And it's important we get rid of the station. There you go. That's right until here. And then this is where it's gonna get tricky. First, let's see if it fits at all. Oh, that fits nicely. Wow, it's like it's made for it. Pretty sure this isn't gonna fit. Yeah, you're totally gonna bump your head into that. Okay, well, I just figured out this is not working very well. I do like it right here, so I guess I'm just gonna keep this. And then maybe we can do the same thing right about there. See, just like this. I actually like the way that looks, for sure. And since it stays on the ground here anyways, we may as well just do this entire last segment using this. Just like so. All the way to the end here. That is looking freaking beautiful. Check that out. Okay, so then I thought maybe we can paint this track some brownish color as well. Like, for example, this. Would that be nice? Not gonna lie, I kinda like the way that looks. <laughs> So now it is time to determine where there's gonna be mountains, where there's gonna be water or ice or you know what I mean? And first I think it's a decent idea to put down a whole bunch of snow basically everywhere. This is gonna be winter wonderland so we are going to need a lot of winter. Okay, so everything is white now. That means we can put down some uh, mountains. I feel like it's pretty obvious there's gonna be one here and the coaster is gonna go straight through it. Not exactly sure how that's gonna go but I guess we'll see soon enough. Right here, something like this. Little mountain here, little mountain there. And then we need to make that sort of tunnel it's going through. This is a bit narrow. <laughs> like this. Yeah, that's more like it. And then we make a nice sort of roof, I guess we can call it. Right. This is starting to look like something. This is actually looking quite interesting. So I wonder what this looks like if you sit inside the coaster. See, this already looks pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Even though I barely made anything yet, it still already has this nice vibe, you know what I mean? Now, just like I did with Benny's movie park, we obviously are going to need uh, some rock, mostly on the sides, because snow doesn't fall on the sides of stuff, you know? So at first, this is going to look a bit strange, but it'll make sense towards the end. Especially in here, it's gonna look very strange, but uh, it's, it's going to be fixed rather sooner than later, trust me. And I think this should be about right. Also, we probably should just make the entire top uh, stone as well because on the inside the ceiling is going to be white otherwise. So we'll just go and add some snow to the top later I guess. Then I also think it's a good idea to make this nice ridge I built here. I don't know it just feels like I have to really divide the types of landscapes here to make sure you can see others while you're sitting in the coaster. It just wouldn't really make sense. So for these I'm just going to make these very clear borders, walls almost. Also you probably noticed my new uh, my new skin and I, I know what you're going to say. It's not Christmas yet. It's not even December yet, but do you see me giving a sh**? I like Christmas and Halloween is over, so that means that it's time for Christmas. Maybe on the sides of these we should also add some rock instead of uh, snow. Now it also connects with the, the, the this too, which is nice. I'm also going to divide these two tracks from each other because I feel like it's a bit cramped otherwise. So I'm gonna do something like this and then these are going to connect. There you go. And then I'm hoping I can do something like this where it's a bit more steep. And of course, you guessed it, also this is going to be stone. So also from here, this looks a bit nicer and a bit more, you know, 
thought through. Uh, then I am going to do what exactly? You probably already guessed it. This is going to be a shit, shit ton of rocks. Same goes for this mountain, by the way. It's... Uh, why do I keep doing this to myself? For the content, of course. For the content. However, I forgot a very important, crucial thing. Uh, this is going to have a lot of trees because it's Christmas. I want forests. Uh, and that's going to save me a lot of rock time, <laughs> if that makes sense. So that is actually a good thing. I didn't really think of that, to be honest. But I also want water somehow, somewhere. So let's uh, go ahead and determine where exactly that water is going to be. I'm thinking maybe we can make this water go sort of here. We'll make this sort of go in this nice corner. Right here, I'm gonna make the outline for uh, the rest of this lake. And now we can put the water back. There you go, beautiful. This is where it's gonna start to uh, merge together, so to speak. And to make the transition a little bit smoother, we can make some of these, uh, these moon areas white as well. Not everywhere, but just a little bit on the edges. Just like that. I feel like that may just help. Another sort of lake right here, which is going to be frozen just for some variety. So I'm going to paint uh, the area where I want the water to be. And then afterwards, I will make it just one layer deeper to make sure it will actually work. I think something like this is good. I don't want to cover too much area because, of course, I want to make some houses too and some trees and some nice stuff. So we do actually need space for that. Now I can take this and make this entire rock area one layer deeper because I'll fill it with normal primitives because I want to have full control over the material and color and everything. So uh, yeah, that I mean, it, that makes sense. And the last block, there you go. Pretty good. So then I'm going to go over to primitives and select this primitive uh, cuboid and simply put it all over the place. From the last series, you guys probably remember I don't like the default ice because it's just way too bright and white and weird. So I'm going to make my own using a stone texture instead. I'm pretty sure we can all agree it looks much better. We can make it a bit more bluish, a bit more magical, you know. This actually takes quite long. I did not expect that. And the last ones, there you go, a more dim blue color like this one I think and then we choose rock see this is much better than the default ice the default ice is just way too bright and and you know you can barely see the difference between that and snow which I don't like I like to see some contrast I think right here I'm gonna add a whole bunch of trees but first I want to add some difference in height because right now it's a bit too flat and boring so let's just do something like this nice and easy nothing too crazy although I think we could make it a little higher still like it shouldn't be a mountain but that can definitely be uh, quite uh, quite a hill. I feel like this is a pretty decent start on the landscape shape. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so then uh, let's see. What's the first thing we are going to do next? For me, ladies and gentlemen, it's now another day, but I'm going to continue where we left off. Um, and I, I figured that if you're sitting in the coaster, you don't want to see too much of the outside world because that's just very distracting. So I think we should make some sort of wall around it just like this. Doesn't that make sense? So you at least don't see those trees back there. And then we should probably do the same thing here. It's kind of boring, but this I think is just going to be a straight wall because there's no way to make this look pretty with the water right here. So uh, let's just make it very nice and boring. And then I guess we can go from there and then I'll make it a bit smoother on the sides. Not a lot, just a little bit to make it at least a little less square and extremely boring because it's just too much otherwise. And of course, later we can also add some more rocks to this who knows but uh, for now this should do fine there you go and then we have to make it white perfect i actually want to go into detail already just right about here this seems like a good start good sp sp i would actually like to go into detail already right about at the start because you know it's the start so it makes sense to begin there i think let's just go ahead and place down rocks some of you guys pointed out how in the last episode i didn't place a single rock now that's problematic right there. So to make it up to you guys and to myself, I'm gonna place a bunch of rocks once again in this episode. Because I know it's your favorite thing to watch and it's my favorite thing to do, so... Why not? Now, I am gonna have to make this some sort of snowy rocks, which I'm not exactly sure how to do yet, but I guess we'll see as we go. I don't think we ever made something fundamentally fail as of yet, so uh, we should be good. Are you guys looking forward to Christmas as much as I am? Because whew, to a lot of people, the summer is the best time of the year, but do me Christmas. Christmas just beats it all. It's so much more cozy and, you know, just... 
Yeah, wow, cozy. I'm really that type of person that likes coziness and, you know, gezelligheid. Pretty sure there's not an English word for that, so I'm just gonna leave it as that. Also, I can't get over how mindful this is. Like, it's so chill. Like, you don't have to think, You can, or well, you can think, but you can think of random other stuff. It doesn't matter because this is just autopilot. I can just place down a bunch of these rocks and I don't have to think whatsoever. It's amazing. It's like building Legos, except without the instructions. I really don't see how I'm ever gonna add snow to this, but I guess, I guess we'll see. Okay, so I have a little bit of the wall done right now and I'm actually just very curious how or maybe I should say if I'm gonna be able to make this look snowy somehow. I had this idea to maybe use these and then push them away just a little bit like so and then make these snow. Now this would technically work but it would be an awful lot of work. So I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of this and see if it's worth it or not. Mm, okay it is quite some work but it's actually faster than I thought it would be so I may just actually do it like this all over because I just feel like it's going to be worth it. If it turns out ugly, I can always just delete them again. It would just be uh, a lot of work for nothing, but who cares? Every time I think like it can get more crazy than this, I do something like this and it just gets so much more insane within such a short amount of time. It's not even funny anymore. And this isn't even necessarily detail. It's just something you shouldn't have to do. And it's a weird thing to willingly do, if that makes sense. So, you know, but I'm doing it anyway because that's what this channel is basically about at this point. Doing the insane to get insane results, I guess. I mean, we can't argue it does look freaking cool at the end. It always does. It always pays off. I can, of course, also choose to do it only at the top a little bit or like just not all over, like almost as if it fades out into this snowy stuff. And then the ones up here are all going to be covered by snow. And what's actually a fantastic thing is you also have these snowy rocks, which already have this pre-built snow texture on top of it, which is which is just perfect. It, that's perfect. So we can easily add extra detail without having to put too much effort in it. That's fantastic. That is just right. There you go. Okay, now that I know what I'm gonna do in this first area, I think it's... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just got this amazing idea. What if right here we will put a tiny little snowman? Maybe not that tiny, but just a snowman. We're gonna start with this one, then that one, and another one or a smaller one, this one. There you go. Then we'll paint these snow as well. And then we just have to make the arms and stuff. Oh, wait a second. There's literally a snowman already. Fully pre-built snowman right there. But I guess ours is uh, a little different, so we may as well just finish it anyway. So we have two different ones. Amazing. There, we can make his arms out of ropes. <laughs> That's beautiful. And we can add the black dots. There you go. It's so, so realistic. Wow. And his eyes as well. <laughs> That's demonic. And for the carrot, there's only one way to do that. It's gonna look awful. It's uh, just like this. We'll just say it's chopped off or something. I don't even know. Should make it orange and then something like this. Yeah, it should be fine. It's not the prettiest snowman I've ever seen, but... It's a snowman after all. So here's for the first bunch of elements I wanted to add here. Um, I'm gonna extend this further in the next episodes because this is clearly a lot of work um, that I don't feel like doing today anymore. Um, but I am going to do something else real quick because I wanted to make some sort of tunnel over this area. Because I feel like that would be a nice way to close this off from the rest of the world, literally. This looks a bit strange, but it'll look fine at the end. Besides, now it's starting to align with uh, the main hall as well, which is actually a nice thing. So I don't worry about that too much. Then here, this is some sort of station-like area. It's of course the block break run. Uh, but I don't know what theme this is going to be after this, so I guess we should just make this kind of generic. Uh, and I guess we can just do a very simple, uh, room, sort of, for now. And then I'm gonna build the most simple and basic structure I could possibly make. Also, right down here, I finished the coaster very quick just to make sure it goes around, because otherwise it stops after you test once, so, uh, that's, that's the explanation for this monstrosity. But don't worry, that is going to be fixed once we are ready to move on. Also, I reckon a question you may have is, am I gonna make custom supports? Well, yes. At least, that is the idea, especially for this uh, area, since it's not all that high anyway. We may as well make some very cool and detailed custom supports, but that's something for another day. Anyways, guys, I think that is pretty much enough for one day. Look 
and all the stuff we made. This may just be the, the biggest progress we've made so far in this project in one episode, so that's that's very nice. But then, uh, yeah, I guess I don't have anything else to say. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you enjoy my overall content, feel very, very free to subscribe because that would actually, actually mean the world to me. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Benny's Time Quest. <laughs>